Hello, and welcome to another presentation of 5-Minute Cybersecurity. On Friday, October 20th, identity services provider Okta disclosed a new security incident. In this presentation, I will discuss what happened, incidents related to this hack, and the bigger problem. Hi, I'm Bill Osolinski, a certified information system security professional with 30 years of experience. What happened? From the Okta advisory, within the course of normal business, Okta support will ask customers to upload an HTTP archive or HAR file, which allows for troubleshooting of issues by replicating browser activity. HAR files can also contain sensitive data, including cookies and session tokens that malicious actors can use to impersonate valid users. Okta has worked with impacted customers to investigate and has taken measures to protect them, including the revocation of embedded session tokens. In general, Okta recommends sanitizing all credentials and cookies slash session tokens within an HAR file before sharing it. Okta Security Chief David Bradbury said the compromised Okta Support Case Management System is separate from the production Okta service, which was not impacted and remains fully operational. He said the Auth0 slash CIC case management system was also not impacted by this incident. Okta releases suspicious IP addresses, the majority are commercial VPN nodes, and recommended that customers search system logs for any given suspicious session, user, or IP. Related incidents. In a separate alert, security firm Beyond Trust said it was target of a cyber attack linked to this Okta support system breach. The incident began when Beyond Trust security teams detected an attacker trying to access an in-house Okta administrator account using a valid session cookie stolen from Okta support system. Custom policy controls blocked the attacker's initial activity, but limitations in Okta's security model allowed them to perform a few confined actions. The bigger problem. Okta has found itself in the crosshairs of multiple hacking groups that target its infrastructure to break into third-party organizations. Just last month, Okta said a sophisticated hacking group targeted IT service desk personnel in an effort to convince them to reset multi-factor authentication for high-privileged users within the targeted organization. In that attack, Okta said hackers used new lateral movement and defense evasion methods but it has not shared any information on the threat actor itself or its ultimate goal. It is unclear if it's related, but last year, many Okta customers were targeted as part of a financially motivated cybercrime campaign named Octopus. That's all for this presentation. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching.